So in this Five Nights at Freddy's security breach video, I'll be showing what happens if you manage to defeat the alien robot army in Phaser Blast without taking damage. As you know, eventually you'll come across a party pass during the story, and you'll have to decide on going to Phaser Blast or Monty's Gator Golf. Keep in mind though, at the end of the game, if you do decide to stay with Freddy inside the pizzeria, he'll give you another party pass to use to access the other area you didn't choose. So don't worry, in the end you won't miss out if you want to check out the other area too. Eventually, you'll get another party pass. But anyways, it turns out there's a couple secrets that can happen if you don't take any damage while playing Phaser Blast. I completely passed these up my first playthrough, so hopefully these are something new to you as well. But yeah, let's get into this. First off, I'm going to be showing proof of completing Phaser Blast without taking any damage. Maybe the strategies I use in this will help you get through Phaser Blast with ease if you are having any trouble. Check this out. Capture the flag. Time to defend. Capture the flag. Time to defend. the alien army. Good job, Space Cadet. Proceed to the winner's elevator for your reward. Well done, Superstar. You won the Phaser Blaster. Now, go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. Okay, so as you saw and heard, nothing special happened when we defeated the alien army without taking any damage this time around. And that's because we didn't take out more than 10 robot aliens without taking damage. We only managed to get 9. However, check out what happens if you manage to shoot more than 10 robot aliens without taking any damage. Capture the flag. Time to defend. Capture the flag. Resistance is 
the alien army. Good job, Space Cadet. Proceed to the winner's elevator for your reward. Well done, Superstar. You won the Faza Blaster. Now, go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. So yeah, as you can see, Unstoppable will continue to appear on the screen after each alien robot you take out once you've shot more than 10 robots without taking any damage. There's also another medal that will pop up called five in a row if you take out five alien robots fast enough without taking damage. To get the unstoppable to appear, you don't have to worry about taking them out fast enough. You just have to manage to shoot 10 or more of the robots without getting shot. Pretty neat little secrets though, the developers added into Phaser Blast that you could completely pass up during your first playthrough like I did. Uh, I actually took my time and just kind of hit around during my first playthrough to get through it. I believe the developers might have been slightly inspired from Halo with these pop-ups that will appear during Phaser Blast, such as five in a row for killing spree, and Unstoppable is for getting 10 kills in a row on Halo without dying. However, in Security Breach, we have to shoot 11 robots to get the medal, so one more than 10, and also we can't take any damage. It's still very similar to the Unstoppable we can get in Halo. Yeah, anyways, lastly here, I wanted to show you proof of not getting Unstoppable to appear after shooting more than 10 robots while taking damage, just to show you that the kill counter will reset once you do get shot. So yeah, keep that in mind if you do try to do this. This could be like a little challenge for you to take on during Phaser Blast, just to see if you can get the Unstoppable to appear. But yeah, check this out lastly for proof. Capture the flag. Time to defend. 
So yeah, as you saw with that proof there, the kill counter does reset. I would have technically got the five in a row a bit earlier if I didn't get shot by one of the alien robots beforehand. And that's the same scenario for getting the unstoppable. You just have to try to get that amount of kills without getting hit by the robots. And it can be kind of tricky because you got to be shooting the alien robots while trying to dodge their shots to not take any damage and not just hiding from them like I was during one of my first playthroughs. I was just trying to survive and defend the flag because I had no idea there was some kind of secret challenge like this the developers had in that would appear on the screen if we shoot a certain amount of robots without taking any damage. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and it was something new to you. If you did find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated, everyone. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a friendly reminder here at the end of this video. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.